Welcome to our channel. Today, we bring you another topic on how Tesla cars are manufactured. Elon Musk's innovative and forward-thinking company, Tesla Automobiles, is widely acknowledged as revolutionizing the auto industry. What is less well-known is how he revolutionized vehicle production. Musk is rethinking how cars are made in the 21st century, much like Henry Ford did 100 years ago, with mass production on an assembly line. Almost all production vehicles are now built on an assembly line, with many of the parts used on that line coming from a higher-up food chain assembly line. In 2016, a typical automotive plant had very few components made from raw materials. For example, Tesla's Model S starts with coils of natural aluminum that are cut, stamped, and joined in one facility to create a complete vehicle. Another distinction is the plant's method of transportation, as well as the innovative use of robotics. In a typical automotive plant, the vehicle is part of a train that never stops moving. The people come to add their components to it. At Tesla, the Model S is mounted on a smart cart that moves around the factory as needed. Robotics now work alongside 10,000 or more humans in all vehicle manufacturing plants. Typically, robots perform large jobs that are too dangerous for humans or tasks that humans cannot complete quickly enough. At Tesla, 160 robots work alongside 3,000 humans to complete large tasks and a variety of dedicated and precise tasks. Tesla robotics are also incredibly adaptable. Rather than performing the same task over and over, some are designed to change tooling while working on a car or performing multiple specialized tasks. We look forward to seeing Tesla Motors' impact on the industry after 25 or 50 years in business, with this much innovation only 13 years after their founding. Would you please subscribe and click the bell symbol to receive more videos before we continue? Tesla Model S Manufacturing Process More than 160 specialist robots are used in the manufacturing process, including 10 of the world's most enormous robots named after X-Men characters. Many of the Model S's unique components are made in-house, including the battery pack, battery module, and drive units. Compared to other modern car assembly plants, the Tesla factory has a high level of integration, with most processes taking place within the Tesla factory. This includes the majority of the stamping and machining, as well as some painting and coating. The 10,000-ton hydraulic pressure lines used to stamp 5,000 body panels per day are the largest in North America and the sixth largest in the world. As of March 2015, 60% of car parts are sourced from North America, with Japan being the second largest source of components. Instead of working in separate facilities, design engineers work in the factory itself. The assembly of a single vehicle can take anywhere from three to five days. The assembly line moves at a five centimeter per second speed. Tesla prefers train delivery over truck delivery because the costs and damages are lower. Motor construction. The induction motor runs on alternating current and is built in-house. The stator and rotor are the motor's primary components. A robot upspools and winds over 12 miles .8 kilometers, of copper wire per motor to start the construction process. The machine then stacks the copper wire. Because the motor has three phases, three copper coils are required. The motor is then transferred to the next station after a worker lengthens and straightens each wire bundle and inserts a hydraulic lift. A worker wraps each bundle in a plastic sleeve to keep the copper wire bundles from touching one another. The bundle's ends are then snipped to the proper length. To form attachment points for the motor's three phases, lugs are added and crimped. The coils are then bound together with a specialized automatic sewing machine to keep them in place. The increased tightness of the binding provided by a robotic sewing machine increases the motor's efficiency. The stator is then encased in a two-part epoxy resin to help distribute the heat generated by the motor evenly. The stator is now finished and inserted into a heated metal case, sealing the stator inside as it cools. The rotor is inserted into the stator using a hoisting system, completing the motor's construction. Additional Drive Unit Components After that, a worker installs the differential and other gearbox sections, bolting them together. After that, an air leak test is performed. The three-phase tri-pole power inverter is then mounted on top of the motor to convert direct current from the battery to alternating current for use by the motor. The motor is then put through a series of automated tests that take four minutes to ensure proper operation before being moved to the general assembly area and installed into the car. Metal oxide semiconductor MOS, power transistors are used to build the power inverter. MOS-controlled insulated gate bipolar transistors IGBTs, are used in early Tesla vehicles, but since 2018, 
SIC power MOS FETs, MOS field effect transistors, have been used in later Tesla vehicles. Battery pack construction. A total of 7,104 18650 lithium-ion battery cells are used in the Model S 85 kWh battery pack, right. On the left, a smaller AA battery serves as scale. The Model S 85's battery pack comprises 7,104 lithium-ion battery cells wired to a series in 16 modules, 14 in the flat section, and 2 stacked on the front. Each module has 6 groups of 74 cells wired in parallel and then in a series within the module. The battery pack uses Panasonic NCR18650A 3100MAH cells with nickel cobalt aluminum cathodes as of June 2012. In contrast to every other electronic vehicle manufacturer, which uses sizable specialized format Li-ion cells, Tesla uses commodity cells similar to laptop and mobile phones. In addition, an intumescent gel is used in the liquid-coated battery pack to help with fireproofing and even heat distribution. Aluminum Coil Blanking The Tesla Model S body is made up of 98% aluminum and comprises between 50 and 60 separate coils of aluminum for various components. The coils are unwound, flattened, and cut. Additional cutting is done with a laser cutter. The aluminum used in the Model S weighs in around 410 pounds total, 109 kilograms. Tandem Press Lines The aluminum blanks are then transferred to tandem press lines, where the sheets are stamped into various panels for the car using a robot. Schuler SMG is the most extensive hydraulic stamping press line in North America and is the sixth largest globally. The body panels are formed using up to 11,000 tons of force in the pressures. The upper section applies 1,400 tons of downward pressure, while the lower section applies 130 tons. Next, the blank aluminum sheets are stretched over the lower draw die, and the openings are cut with robots as the panels are transferred between processes. After that, the workers inspect each panel to ensure proper pressing. After that, the parts are stacked in frames and stored. The machines produce 5,000 pieces per day by pressing one part per every six seconds. Drive Unit Installation The vehicle is lifted and the drive unit is installed in the rear axle assembly. Without a drive shaft, the drive unit sends power directly to the wheels. Battery Pack Installation The battery pack is delivered to the installation area and lifted into the car using a lift weighing nearly 1,200 pounds, 540 kilograms. Placing the battery pack beneath the cabin floor gives the vehicle more strength and rigidity and lowers its center of gravity to 18 inches, 46 centimeters. In addition, a titanium plate is installed over the battery pack to protect it from road debris and in the event of a high-speed collision. How Tesla's manufacturing process differs compared to other automakers IHS is dissecting every subsystem in the Tesla for its investigation, including the air conditioning controls, safety systems, and powertrain. The teardown is still ongoing, but significant differences between the Tesla and other vehicles' development have already been discovered. Infotainment System The 17-inch touchscreen and display is significantly larger than the average automotive infotainment interface. It is powered by a 1.4 GHz quad-core NVIDIA Tegra 3 processor with the same computing power as today's smartphones and tablets. When it comes to technology advancement, the automotive industry is typically years behind the technology sector. Display and Touchscreens the Tesla's Model S's display and touchscreens are incredibly high-end, and the company has spared no expense. Similarly, the screens of an iPhone and iPad are the most expensive part, according to Rossweiler, who added that Tesla was using the costly parts because it wanted to give the driver a mobile device-like interface. Electronics Tesla's strategy gives it more control over costs and parts sourcing. Tesla is likely to design the circuit boards and have them built by an electronics part contractor. This is a marketing strategy used by smartphone and tablet manufacturers. Apple, for example, maintains tight control over the design of its iPad and iPhone while outsourcing assembly to EMS firms like Foxconn. That's it for how Teslas are manufactured. Then, if you liked our video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos.